Today, I'm going to show you how to convert any scooter from AC to full DC setup right after the short intro coming up. So I have this decade old scooter called Activa and I'm totally not happy with its headlights. I feel like I'm riding with a candle in my hand. I feel that blind. You might say that it is because it's a decade old scooter, but that's not the case. I even feel the same on the newer bikes too. They're just not bright enough. So I decided I will change the Activa's headlight bulbs. The options that I had available in the market were halogen, HID and LED. HID was quickly out of my list as they are current hungry at startup which would exhaust the puny battery of Activa in no time. Next, halogen. Now the current stock setup of Activa consists of 35 by 35 watts which is 35 for high and 35 for low which is static. And if I go for higher wattage like the 55 by 60 watt which is the car bulb then I will get a good brightness but then it will result in more heat inside the reflector which could even melt your reflector. And that would be the last thing anyone would want. The last one is the LED. Now, the LED runs cooler, brighter and also consumes less power. So, LED it is. To know more about which LED I'm talking about, I will put the link in the i button and also in the description, so do check it out. But wait, last I remember, LEDs are current sensitive chips which require DC current to function properly and my Activa supplies AC voltage to these headlamps. So the first thing that I need to do is convert this AC voltage to a DC voltage. Now there are many ways to do it but I will show you how I did it. So for this I used a relay and some wires. Total cost less than 100 rupees. So first let us understand how the relay functions. The relay that I have used is a horn relay rated at 12 volts 30 amps. This is the input and this is the output signal. Now the input signal will go to the output only when the relay is triggered using these two points which means say suppose a current flows in this particular direction to the ground only then the input will be given to the output. Now according to the Activa's wiring diagram, the wire which goes to the headlight also goes to the tail light which means, which means if I give 12 volt supply to the headlight then it will also supply to the tail lamp. To understand the relay in simple terms, this will be 12 volts input and the output will be going to the headlight and this trigger signal will come from the light switch which will control the voltage going to the headlight. So what I am going to do is, I will take a positive supply from the battery to the relay serving as the input and the output of this will go to the high low switch which will transfer the current to the headlight. We need to trigger the relay. Now the trigger will be acquired from the light switch. Now to do that what I will do is take a positive supply from the battery to the light switch and from there it will come as an input for the trigger to the relay and then the output of this will go to the negative terminal which means when a current comes from positive to this light switch and when the switch is turned on a positive charge will flow from this wire to the relay triggering the relay making the connection between the battery and the headlight switch. Now if I directly connect this positive wire to the light switch what will happen is the headlight would be switched on even if the vehicle is off. So to solve that issue what I will do is I will take a positive supply from the lock switch to the light switch. What this means is whenever I turn the key to on position only then the current will be supplied to the light switch which will pass current only if it is switched on. Now this lock switch already has a battery power which is supplied by the internal wiring harness of the Activa itself. So to sum it up a positive wire from lock switch to the light switch from the light switch to the relay 
and the second pin of the trigger goes to the ground similarly a positive wire from the battery directly to the relay and the output of which goes to the high low switch So this is the relay that I have over here. Now this is the input 30 and this is the output. It can be interchanged any way however you want. Now this 86 and 58, these are the pins for the coil to trigger the relay. This wire, this first wire that you can see is coming straight from the battery with the fuse in between. And the output that is this wire behind the input comes straight to the high-low switch as an input. Now to trigger the relay what I have done is I have used the wires behind this switch which are these cut them then what I did is I got a positive wire from the ignition to this first wire and from there I connected a second wire which goes straight to the relay here and from here to give it a ground so that the current flows I have connected this wire to the ground now what has happened is whenever I put this switch on this particular relay gets triggered and this relay gives DC power directly from the battery to this switch here since I have shorted this power input to this particular wire according to the wiring diagram it supplies power to the headlight as well as the tail lamp this is the low beam this is the high beam now when I put the button on high beam I should be getting 12 volts DC over here the voltage that I get over here is the 12 volts DC which confirms the success of this setup now I can switch on the headlight of Activa without actually starting it just like R15 which has a DC setup like this Yeah! If you have already done this with your bike or maybe with some other different method then do let me know in the comment section below I would love to hear that Also feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section down below and I promise to answer them all So that's it for now hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in the next one